I wanted to show off a new type of bench vise that I'm using and it is called a pattern makers vise. So let me show you first. You're probably familiar in my videos. I've been using this, which is the Tipton Ultra Vice. It is a really good unit. I have nothing against it other than it's just a little big and bulky. Uh, it has self-leveling screws. Uh, it holds a variety of guns. I really only need it to hold one kind of gun though. Uh, so for me, that versatility doesn't really matter, but it is incredibly stable, great for cleaning. It just takes up a lot of bench space and I'm constantly tripping over it if it's on the ground. So I was trying to find something that would work better for my needs, not to mention that I make you know, I make a decent amount of videos with my gun uh, in the rest and it gets in the way of showing off things. So a few friends of mine use these and this is called a pattern maker's vise, like I said. Uh, sometimes they call it a stock maker's vise, but uh, I think online you'll mostly see it as a pattern maker's vise. Uh, occasionally I've seen it called a guitar repair vise. Uh, the concept being that it uses floating heads and this is wood with a um, polyethylene, I don't know. It's it's a like a hard rubber, so it's not gonna scratch or damage anything. And it's meant for holding big chunks of wood if you're carving or doing whatever, but happens to work really good for guns as well. Uh, as one of my friends who uses one all the time said, take a towel and fold it up and put it in here. So that's what I do is it sits in here. And that way, if you're putting your gun in and it slips, it's gonna hit the towel and not bang on the metal. The nice thing about this vise, and I'll take the towel out so you can see, is that it has a, a wheel down here. And uh, let me show you. So it's it's got basically a, like a flywheel type thing, like two, two dumbbells down here. And I, I think you can, you can kind of see it. But it's really easy to tighten up and it's just a giant thread, so it'll fit through quite a few different benches. And you just tighten it down, but if you want to, you can just loosen it a little bit and rotate it out of the way. And you can put this really in just about any orientation that you want. So let's show you how I've been using it. Now again, because it has this nice uh, material here, it's not going to damage your stock. And so I just kind of find the center of my stock and you just crank it down and that's it. So you can see it holds the gun very well. I can clean with it. Uh, if I want to, I can tighten it down a little bit more, but you know, really it's where I want. But now the nice thing is because it's in there, if I loosen this up a little bit, I can now rotate this and I can do whatever work I need. So if I want to be this way on the gun, that's fine. If I want to clean like this, maybe I've got a, a bucket for my cleaning patches. I can stick that here and now I can clean uh, from this side. Uh, whatever I need to do, I can get it up and out of the way and it tightens down very easily and again is rock solid. So I'm really liking this setup. Uh, they're about a hundred and, well, I think Grizzly has them on sale for about 120, something like that, plus shipping. Uh, your local woodworking shop uh, like Woodcrafters or something like that. Woodcraft online has them. Uh, you can get them in a variety of places. It's not an Amazon type item. Uh, it is a little more special item and it is cast iron. The whole thing weighs, so just the vice part, I wanna say it weighs about 25 pounds if I remember right. So it's very stout, very heavy, but I do love, I mean, I'm banging this thing around and uh, it's not gonna come out of my gun vice. Um, it's you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm hitting on it. So, uh, and I'm not damaging the stock either. So that's the really great thing about it. And then because it's a vice, I can do other things with it. So I could put in my, um, my, uh, my barrel vice. I could lock it in, change my barrel on this. I can, you know, if I need to work on something else, I've got a vice that will actually let me grip, uh, without damaging. So, uh, you know, just thought I would share changes that I've been going through. The only thing I had to do, if you look uh, down here, I had to unscrew the top. Uh, so this is a butcher block top. I had to unscrew it from the cabinet below and push it about seven, eight inches out so that I could access the adjustment wheel. That's the great thing about butcher block top counters or um, 
you know, benches or desks is that they're totally modular. So I just loosened or took out the four screws, slid everything out and then tightened it back down. And now it's exactly where I want it. So anyway, hope that helps you guys. Talk to you later. Have a good one.